So guys, I think I found the oldest bicycle in the world. I mean, what the, this is, I think, <laughs> just look, just look at this. A piece of art here, like the oldest bicycle in the world, like rusty. I mean, I wonder for how many years this bicycle is like this. Oh, well, what do you think, then? I think this can be here for tenth of years or something, I don't know. 20, 30 years or more. <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, really a piece of art here. Okay, let's go here. To see this side of the forest. Really interesting shape of this these trees here, no? What do you think? Here we never been this area, no? Come, let's. I was once here, but not with you. So let's explore a little bit this part of the. Oh, what do we have here? Be careful not not to fall here. Okay, I mean it's not not so dangerous, but still, no? Careful, no? I didn't uh, uh, <laughs> inform you about the safety measures here, but <laughs> yeah, be careful, huh? Okay, Come, give me your hand here, huh? Because here it's a little bit slippery, but I mean, I can go out to see this other part of in the woods. You know, since I, since I've told everybody that I watch these guys, Harold Boulder and Bald and Bancroft, you know, exploring all kinds of places, until my next vacation to Thailand or Vietnam or anywhere would be, I kind of feel the need to explore my home area. Yes, so <laughs> you can laugh at me or something, but I don't care. Actually, I like the nature, and I think it's it's quite an interesting place to see here so yeah what do you think let's go here this is it's like exploring my backyard or something <laughs> yeah 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 You see, all across the, the woods there are these uh, red fruits, which I don't know exactly what kind of fruits are, but okay, here yeah, okay for now, because uh, again it's uh, a little bit of water after the rain, so <sighs> here sometimes I see fishermen when I take my boat here outside and See guys, you know, just as a hobby, I don't think it's so important to catch really, f I mean, for a real fisherman, I think it's mostly about the pleasure just to stay out in nature, no? What do you think? I remember when I was in Thailand, there were once this tuk-tuk driver, you know, uh, he was always there to the, near the hotel, like 24 hours, like day and night, he was out there, you know, and I asked him once, I mean, don't you sleep? Don't you have like a day off or something? And he said to me once, um, uh, he was not there for like two days. And when I saw him again, I asked him, where have you been? I mean, I have missed you. I never saw you taking a break for a few weeks. And he said, yeah, I went fishing. So in Thailand, people like to fish also. Some people are in Thailand. I mean, uh, it's quite common for Thai people to fish, you know, to go fishing or... What do you think? No?
small tree here blocks the road. <laughs> Go a little bit more in our little adventure, or? What do you think? <laughs> we forgot our machetas at home, so we cannot make our way through the woods if, that's, if this gets any deeper. But uh, for the moment I think we don't need it. Actually, you see how different paths here, so... Actually, it's quite common to see people here running or wandering in the woods and... But, uh, yeah, it's also a good idea to have a knife. First, I, I usually have a knife when I go into the woods because it's perfectly legal in Sweden to have a knife in the woods. And also for self-defense, you don't know what kind of a crazy wackos, you know, you can find in the woods, so... <laughs> oh, look what an interesting tree here. <laughs> what? what do you think? Dang. Oh, very interesting. Oh! And... Somebody forgot a ball here, like a green ball. <sighs> so, this would be a good place for fishing, you know? Dang, what do you think? Huh? This would be a good place for fishing, or? <laughs> right? <laughs> but, we're not fishermen, so... Okay, let's go just a little bit further and then go back, now. We have done enough exploration, right? <laughs> Another, like two trees blocking the, the way here. Oh, like a small boat here or something. Then we found a boat here. <laughs> oh, careful, careful, no? Just watch. Yeah, you see, a, a small boat, which obviously belongs to somebody because but yeah, I mean, you see the boat is tied to a tree. So, actually I think I saw this boat on the water floating when I with my boat out. But, uh, what do you think? Good, good idea <laughs> for this guy who wants this boat. Ah, oh. wait, I don't think we can go so much deeper. this place here. Like this one. Oh, nothing interesting. Interesting here how these trees have fallen, or I don't think somebody cut them off, they just like this. And another one here on this side. <laughs> I feel like a real explorer, <laughs> okay, <laughs> exploring this place here. Interesting. 
So Deng, we're going back. What do you think? Okay? We're going back. Okay, let me just climb up here again and so how little exploration tour is over now and uh, next video probably would be something more interesting like maybe Skansen or Stockholm city you know I mean I plan to do some videos in Stockholm city like Stockholm walks you know and show you the old town and everything so but until then bye bye